I remember you were one of the early podcasters with Bravo mm -hmm. and you've been in the game and vlogging early on and people I feel like were not like as supportive Yeah, and now it's popping and everyone's like trying to catch up to you yeah. and I'm like, well, she's been putting in the work. <laughs> Look. I don't know, five and a half years later. <laughs> How's the baby? Well, she's good. Like she's two and a half. She's yeah, a she's now. starting high school next week. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Dude, she picks out her own clothes. She picked out all of our Halloween costumes. She's like, you're going to be this. She's like, Mom, I want you to be a witch, and you're going to have a broom. Dad, you're a vampire. <laughs> Aunt Nikki, you're going to be a werewolf. And she's like trying to tell my sister. My sister's like, no, no, you're not picking out my costume. <laughs> and she has, like, swag about her. Like, she knows no, she's literally. beautiful. She's yeah. Like, uh-huh. Like, the photo, yeah, she, like, like I'll go to put her hair up. She goes, Mom, I don't want a ponytail. I have long, pretty hair. <laughs> Yes, you do. So she's a monster. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's all happening in New York. We've got Giggly Squad on the podcast today. It's all happening. It's all happening. <laughs> we're waiting for Paige. She's late, which yeah. is crazy. She's always early. So we're going to give her shit. Well, it's New York rush hour. And mm. the train was a fucking nightmare. You took the train? Uh, yeah, I took the Uber earlier. A relatable queen. That was easier. But um, <laughs> here we are. So we're going to get into some shenanigans. Oh, I think that's her. Look who so the cat dragged in. Hey, Gorge. Hi. Yay. Yeah. Honestly, the vlog is lit. I was like, I can't come in sweats because I know Paige is going to be dressed so cute, as always. Well, Who are you, Hannah? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say something mean, but I was like, I'm too tired. <laughs> she was like, fill in the space. You know what I'm going to say. You can imagine it. <laughs> Honestly, perfect vibes. Yeah. You know we go on whole tangents about you on Giggly Squad? Wait, I love this. Whole tangents. I need to listen more. No, whole she tangents. She is she, she is Giggly Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All the bad right. girls of Bravo. <laughs> Welcome back to another New York shenanigans. Today's guest, I have a true, in my eyes, fashion icon, comedy legend. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, thank you. I was waiting for you to say And if you know from those giggles, you might have first seen them on Bravo Summer House Rule, Summer House they do rule. <laughs> I'm like thinking of like Bravo gone already. I'm like charming house rules, summer house rules, whatever. There's no rules on that show. Mm. But um, now you can catch them popping up literally all over the country. Sold out shows. I'm so proud of y'all. Giggly thank Squad, you. Paige thank Sorbo, you. Hannah Burner. Thanks for having Yay. us. We're so honored to be on. Welcome also back. imagine like you just hear giggling from afar and you're like, they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> We're the bad girls club of Bravo. We're the bad girls of Bravo. I love it. But literally, I mean, y'all are doing shows all over the country right now. And and you have we went thousands of people last week. We went into, oh yeah, we yeah, went to Canada. We went Canada. Canada. So fun. We're big Toronto girls. Yeah. I love Toronto. Yeah, I've been too. a few times too. Let's be honest. For a second, we were like, this is America. They're all speaking English. Right. We were like, where are but Then we? they say A. <laughs> then they say sorry, sorry. every five yeah, seconds. Sorry. But um, yeah, no, we loved it. But it's it's cool to have people that you met on reality TV but that then you can create in so many different forms. Yeah. And I think that's why we all have fun together. Yeah. yeah. I think reality TV is one big high school <laughs> because there's not that many people that have been on reality yeah. TV before. So like when I see like the Laguna Beach, like the hills, I'm like, oh, those are the seniors. Yeah. And then, right. Like, oh my God, so, <laughs> so true. Like, Vanderpump, they're like the cool juniors. And then yeah. it goes on and on. And then something happens and they're like, oh, I remember that happened to me freshman yeah. year. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, so true. I and then make up to a party. Luann once sat me down. I was smoking a cig and she's like, I wish it would have called me. I would have told you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then basically BravoCon is our high school reunion. <laughs> yes. Which yes. is terrifying. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> and some of us don't get invited. But. Yeah. <laughs> Are you looking forward to BravoCon? Have you figured out your um, looks yet? And did you see my comment on your Instagram I the other day? I did see your comment. <laughs> I'm at capacity, honestly. I literally have been ordering so many clothes. Yeah. Because also, it's my birthday weekend. I know. Oh. So I feel like I have to look like even 
Like it's your party. Yeah, where I'm like, mm-hmm. thanks for coming to my Bravo Come birthday. Welcome. Yeah, <laughs> welcome. Glad you could all be here. Um, so I'm stressed, but I'm I'm very excited. I'm excited it's in Vegas. At first, I hated it. Yeah. I don't want to travel for it. But, I mean, you guys have had to travel. It, yeah. Like I love the, traveling to New York. Any yeah. excuse oh, wow. to True. come to New York, I'm like, put me on a plane. Get me to New York. I would be here every other week if I could for work. Okay, that's so interesting because I, I never, all the time. I never True. feel like that with LA. But I've recently been starting to feel like, oh, if I have to go to Vegas, like, yeah, I'm go- let's Sheena, go. Sheena, yeah. the last time we were all together was in Vegas. Wait, oh my god! Remember that festival? Yeah, we did. At Life is Beautiful. Was, was that, that was that before or after my that, wedding? I was just after there last wedding. week, so there's no way that was the last time I saw y'all. Yeah, last that was September. a year ago. I mean, we've been I've been watching you on TV, but that's it. Like a little creep. Well, I saw you at BravoCon then after that because that was oh, like in yeah, November. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, I we guess were, it has been that the, long. The three of us, yeah. We were um, putting ourselves into the Scandival story because of <laughs> via that festival. Via that festival, because yes. well, all of yeah. us. Yeah, and then I was there again last week, <gasps> and Sandoval is there with Kyle Chan. And Kyle Chan is one of my nearest and dearest friends. I love him so much. Mm-hmm. I just performed at his Gold Bar Whiskey opening in San Francisco with my oh, band. Nice. I'm in a band now. You guys- Wait, what's the name of your band? So it's Sheena Marie and the 27s because they were already a band called the 27s. And I'm trying to go back to Sheena Marie because I'm yeah. – Sheena Davies professionally I don't think has – the I ring. Love it's not so, the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> like, no offense to my husband. No. But-, <laughs> but it's giving no doubt. Like, yeah. I'm obsessed That's with it. That's what I was going for. Also, I love that regardless what happens on Vanderpump Rules, music brings that show together. <laughs> right? <laughs> They're like, we'll forget our problems because we have a festival this weekend. <laughs> so I perform Good as Gold, the Screamo version, and Apples, which is clear who that song is about. Have you guys heard it? Yes. Of yes. Course. Okay. So there's a line in the song where I say, Hope there's a place for friends like you. And I just like, directed that line at Sandoval. No, you're a performer. You're a Thanks. star. Literal performer. It's so funny because I don't think people know this, but like when we're filming, we're not obviously like not allowed to have music on. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. You put like Bravo beats on. And yeah. good as gold on repeat. And I always say, <laughs> where the fuck is good as gold? Yeah. And we're like, oh, I don't know if we can clear that. I'm like, yeah. it's, it's Sheena. Um, I'll text her. Yeah, I'll text I'll her right now. I'll text her. Put it on. Also yeah. pay the money. Give that girl the yeah. money that she made herself. <laughs> Should we just continuously be streaming that on Spotify and get I will. a fucking Start support Apple. women in the yes. arts. That I have okay, 100% Apples. rights to. Yes. And then I have four new songs we're working <gasps> on. So no. Lala and I just recorded a Christmas song. Wait, I'm dead. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, hey, now, now, should, we Bravo? Say, like, sh- should we pivot? <laughs> Do you remember? My- okay, anyway. Giggly Squad becomes karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I love that. Okay, so a Christmas song. Yeah, because has anyone on Bravo done an original Christmas song? No. Maybe some covers. But I it's think they've wanted to do for years. So strictly like new, completely you, new. Also, started from okay. scratch. People started from like a, an eight count of a jingle and a little bit of like. We don't know about eight counts. We're not creative like that. You are like my that. Mariah Carey. You are Mariah Carey. <laughs> 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 Give this girl a fucking Grammy. Also, the Uber commercial was a bop. Iconic. So crazy. Wait. Like when Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio did <laughs> two, not one, but yeah. two TikToks to that. No. I'm like, I'm friends with their parents, but yeah. I never in a million years would have thought they would be doing a TikTok to my song. No, I love it. And it's amazing. Oh. Do you ever get sick of Good as Gold singing it? The old version, yes, which is why I just hired this band to do a cover of the song. Yeah. Not thinking it would go anywhere past, I'm paying you X amount of dollars, you give me my song, I own the master of it, thanks, mm. nice to meet you. You're Taylor okay, Taylor Swift. Swift. <laughs> Not literally. <laughs> We're doing Sheena's version, Sheena's people. Version of good as gold. <laughs> so... Uh, I end up totally vibing with these guys and we were DJing Emo Night and then they were performing (laughs) at Emo Night. So they get up on the DJ booth with me. Then I hop up on stage with them and that night was honestly top five, one of the best nights of my life. I had so much fun. I was like, I know I'm not the best singer, but I can perform my ass off and this is so fun. (laughs) No, you're a great performer though. Like you you. performed last year at BravoCon and I was like, Everyone stand up. Yeah. Like, she's so, you really yeah. are so good. Like, Thank you want to watch you. I'm trying to perform again this year. We're trying to make it work for mm-hmm. at least maybe the Watch What Happens Live or something. Yeah, so the I'm schedules just gonna, are crazy. I think just do it, it like, out there. during the day in the middle of everyone. Yeah, just everyone is right? so long. <laughs> there needs to be like a now that's what I call music. Bravo. Pump rules. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's so good. It's just us. We're singing it. Yeah. <laughs> 
the new version of the song is so fun because I have someone else singing, so I don't have to sing every word of it because that song is exhausting Got to it. do. No, I don't know how it's any so- singer memorizes any song. No, no, I can't. So I used to vape. I can't breathe that much. You know? <laughs> well, I feel like I've lost a lot As of my voice. As in five minutes from ago, you used to vape. Hannah, <laughs> your mom's You're here. smoking Stop. weed. I'm oh, like, no. We don't yo, smoke. My voice no. is gone. Hannah, no, no, Hannah can't smoke weed. <laughs> Okay, you don't have to attack me. <laughs> no, I mean, it is a good thing. My mom actually always says, and that's nice that she can't. She goes, she's like, a good, she's nice good. angel yeah, she's of a, a person. Because she cries when she gets high. <laughs> like, she just has an anxiety disorder. Yeah. <laughs> it just makes it so much worse. <laughs> no, it does. I start I, vocalizing my inner demons. Yeah. yeah. I started getting party. so paranoid a few months ago. I haven't smoked in months now. Wow. Because it was just like the intrusive thoughts yeah, are already no, bad enough. Oh, yeah. I had some marijuana on top of that. I was like, what no, I'll be like, is my is my face round or oval? <laughs> Somebody tell me. And everyone's like, can, who invited her? <laughs> oh my God. So I have a fun oh game I want to okay. play called Is This Giggle Worthy? But before we do that, we're just going to take a quick little break. All right. So as we all know, I have been busy, busy, busy. Since wrapping filming, I swear my schedule has been so full that I have not had the time to cook for myself or Brock. I cook for summer, but outside of that, my freezer and fridge has been filled with things delivered straight to my door. My freezer is filled with Daily Harvest. They have so many delicious, quick, and satisfying meals, let me tell you, because sometimes when I run out of all of my meals, it's just like a girl dinner of a smorgasbord of whatever is left, you know, some of summer's vegetables, a lunchable, a string cheese, whatever. But Daily Harvest, I've got to say, keeps my stomach and freezer full. They have so many options with fruit and veggie packs, smoothies, soups, harvest bowls. They've got a ton of options for any time of day, flatbreads and bites like if you want a midnight snack, if you want some breakfast, easy to prep. I don't even have to think about what to cook for my next meal. And I love that I can skip the chopping, the shopping, the post cooking, cleaning up, all of it. It's just better choices. Daily Harvest makes it easy. So keep yourself in your freezer full with hassle-free meals from Daily Harvest. Go to dailyharvest.com slash Sheena to get up to $65 off your first box. That's dailyharvest.com slash Sheena for up to $65 off your first box. dailyharvest.com slash Sheena. All right, y'all. I'm so excited because the Kardashians are back for their fourth season on Hulu and it's bringing all new drama. Kim and Courtney pick up where they left off, fighting like sisters, but nothing can come between family. There are definitely some new developments this season, new feuds, new relationships, blind dates, a fabulous family vacation, an unfortunate fashion mishap, and things turning on a dime, just to name a few. Chloe has surprise house guests, but as usual, it is not what you think. And in case you haven't heard, Courtney and Travis are having a baby. Oh my God, I was there at the Blink show when she announced it with the sign. So exciting. The famous matriarchy is giving the deepest look into their personal lives yet, and we are here for it. These ladies are always moving forward together as a family, and family time is our favorite time. I swear, it doesn't matter how rich and famous this family is. It is relatable. They're sisters. They fight like sisters. They're a family. They work together. It's just, I am so obsessed with so many aspects of this show. I cannot wait to watch all of the relationship drama, the mental health hurdles. I mean, the family drama, just everything that these women go through. I look up to them. I think they are amazing. And I can't wait to see what this season brings because I know there's also plenty of laughs. Y'all can catch new episodes of The Kardashians Thursdays streaming only on Hulu. I would like to see what type of things might elicit a giggle from you ladies. So I'm going to name something and let me know if it makes you giggle. Okay. Well, the production value of this pod is next level. (laughs) Like she's prepared. Yeah. (laughs) Thanks, Mark. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Mullets. I 
I think they're funny in like a skit, in like a bit. <laughs> there's in context sh- to it. Yeah, if there's context to it. If Craig was like, I'm going to grow a mullet, <laughs> I don't think none, nothing about that. It's like, funny. what are you yeah. overcompensating for? I do think a little kid with a mullet is funny to me. Yeah. Like, yes. Okay, that is that funny. That is funny. Yeah. It's adorable. Because like, you imagine him know. like complaining about like, like his bronco. Legos, like, yeah. Losing oil. What do cars do? I don't know. Yeah, I get where you're going with that. (laughs) Yeah. Socks with sandals. Not funny. (laughs) See, I think socks with Crocs. Fun. Funny. It's funny, actually, though, that that is coming in style for Mm -hmm. guys. Mm -hmm. Like socks, sandals, and a suit. (gasps) Oh, yeah. Schwartz has been doing that for years. But Really? Well, he's on trend. I feel now. like he got married in slides, or maybe I made that up, and we were surprised that he didn't. But I think there were definitely slides on him. And that is so funny. I mean, New York City people make fun of me for walking around with my dogs out in New York City, and <laughs> if I had <laughs> socks, it would be more protective to my like toes. Yeah, but you're so raised up that like nothing's getting to you because I wear platforms. Yeah, thank you. Cheesy holiday gifts, like a heart with like chocolates in it. Um. I would maybe crack a smile. I don't know if I would like full on giggle, but like you mean like stupid gift. Yeah. Like I love a stupid little bit gift. Yeah. Like I got Paige a fake Chanel bag. <laughs> <laughs> like on Canal Street, like right here. Literally right outside. Literally the guy standing outside. That's a Hannah Sheeler. I have my, we have our Frada, we have our like Fennel. Fennel. Mm-hmm. Or Fakendi. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to buy her. You know, I wasn't doing well. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to buy her bag. I was with Sierra. And I was like, let's see if she thinks it's real. And like for a second, she looked at for, me. Yeah. for like, But I can't, I can't like lie about anything. So. One second. And then I was like, they didn't even keep it in the box. It was in a paper bag. I <laughs> yeah. gave it her in a paper bag. <laughs> Literally like a CBS bag. <laughs> like happy birthday, bitch. But like. I think it was pretty good. I'm going to tell you something. I love that Chanel bag. Thank you. I use it a lot. Black. It's good. Yeah. Okay. When you look at someone else's social media who posts prolifically about their partner, but then notice all of the posts have been deleted, do you investigate? Oh. I feel like I knew when the post happened. You mm. know, like I don't need to investigate. I feel like I have a good radar of like… The motive of post. Yes, mm-hmm. the motive of post. Yeah, you could tell when some are like, we're doing really well. We're doing really well. And then, <laughs> you know, like that energy. <laughs> yeah. And where some like, are like, hey, like we're still together, but we're fine. Like I still think like the Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds, how they are social media wise mm-hmm. is like the most normal. Like I think that's funny. But yeah. like anything that's like, I'm trying to think like what cele- – like if cele- any celebrities I know like really gush about their partner. But like no, I don't well, – I'm also self-centered. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not posting him. Mm-hmm. You know, we've seen enough of him. I do think it's hard to depend on your partner too for like constant Instagram posts like to get the photo, to be like, come here, like right. get the outfit, it's the whole mm-hmm. thing. Right. So you don't want to depend on them for your engagement. Yeah. Because I think some people just get addicted to people liking the idea of their love. And that could be unhealthy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What but about when the Real Housewives of New York ladies keep talking about provisions? <laughs> <laughs> so chic, honestly. <laughs> Wait, so chic. I'm not watching it. Okay, so I love the Real Housewives of New York because, and we would get this because we're all on reality TV. Their first season, they're not fighting about anything real. Like, yeah, they're fighting about cheese boards. Mm-hmm. And, like, you didn't come to this dinner with me. You mm-hmm. went out. So, like, it's all lighthearted. Yeah. And I feel like that's why people like it. But I feel like I know deep down, I'm like, oh, just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Oh, I love the, the early interviews where going they're like, <laughs> and you start forming, like, who you like, who you don't. I was like, season two is going to so be. So, I would argue. Oh, yeah. Early seasons, you're fighting about stuff like provisions. Right. Later seasons, you still fight about provisions, but provision stands for something. <laughs> for, yeah. well, like yeah. the pasta. Like, <laughs> right. It, like, the pasta something. is so many layers of things, but yeah. you still say provisions because you can't say what you're really right. mad Reality at. TV needs to get more vloggy. 
Mm -hmm. Like it needs to be, there's so much more fourth wall. Like I always say like our, remember there was a season where like our production was fighting with each other and like we didn't know because like how would we know? But like you could tell that like certain people weren't talking and I was like, they're like, what's going on in your life? And I'm like, no, no, what's going on here? Right? Yeah. What's like, what's going on Oh yeah, we started guys? to produce them. I'm like, I heard someone say, <laughs> like, the sound guy was talking shit earlier. I think that's so interesting. <laughs> so interesting. We were very like we were very good friends with our like crew. production mm -hmm. crew and two of them got married one yes. of the producers and one of the videographers got married yep. or video camera got whatever you guys they want to be called yeah <laughs> it's up to them it's up to it's them, up them. <laughs> <laughs> they want to identify um, you know, <laughs> I just sounded like Rihanna yeah. and she's like them whatever they want but no I wish there was a show about making a reality show mm -hmm. like how do they cast mm -hmm. yeah how do, like before what do they say to each other when they're sitting in that room about like they're gonna fight or well, they're gonna well that's the show Unreal but I would yeah, like yeah but I yes. want it I would like to cut to the that room that they all are where they're watching yeah where you know they're like come on push her harder push yeah. her harder like she's about to snap she's gonna snap she's, yeah. and then when they and I know yeah. Yes. You there know it is. that you yeah, say like, something stupid in like a 40 minute fight and they high five. You yeah. know that they're like, that made no sense. Yes. <laughs> I do love that they're starting to break the fourth wall more on most shows that yeah. I've been watching. I do want to say, I, I do think it is an interesting time where people are starting to acknowledge that reality TV people are human and there's obviously pros to being on it. <laughs> but then like... <laughs> They are for humans with right. feelings. No, I do have a belly button. And yeah. Like, you, can, <laughs> you can only like push people so much. Until they snap. Yeah. And you yeah. can only take advantage of people so much until it yeah. becomes like a little, mm -hmm. you know, shady. And that's why Sheena's mm -hmm. iconic for exposing some things with reality TV in right. the past with, um, yeah, editing. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> men in a bow tie outside of a black tie affair. Again. I used to be very against a bow tie. I don't mind it now. Like, if the function allows for it. It's a good conversation piece, but again, I think he's overcompensating for a small pee pee. Except <laughs> I will say, you want to know what? That might be true because in Charleston. No, I know it's true. Ev all of the guys wear these like specific kind of bow ties, but it looks like a feather. Oh. And I saw one guy wearing it and I was like, that's a hideous bow tie. And then I kept seeing guys wearing it. And Craig was like, no, that's like a thing. Like that's like a store down here. And they're horrible. Do you think that's how guys feel about rosettes? <laughs> <laughs> like they saw you on the reunion they're like what is she wearing and yeah. they see another girl with rosette and they're like what the fuck's going on <laughs> now everyone's got a rosette <laughs> I saw Paige wearing a rosette but now I wear rosettes I love rosettes by the way I know you do actually you I love rosettes you know, I still feel like I have a text from you being like I'm really into rosettes <laughs> I mean someone said you copied my lookbook continue we're not gonna fight on Shiva's pod right now <laughs> what about when you run into gigglers out in the wild <gasps> I love it because they're so psychotic and so insane, but they're. I just got a, a like a, sh a <laughs> what's it called? A, a drive by shooting. I just had a drive by shooting <laughs> on the way here. Someone in a car was like, <laughs> like but with my mom. My mom got so scared. But they're just like us. So they're anxious. They're depressed. Yeah. They want to say hi. And then they're like, we've talked too long. I got to go. Also, they're not like, oh my God, Hannah Burner. Like, I love this. They're literally like, Hannah, what's up? Yeah. My favorite is when they're walking by and they just put their phone up. And they're, and they're listening, listening to Giggly Squad. Squad. Yeah. yeah we, we and they the don't Giggly. take their headphones out and they're just like, have a great day. Yeah. 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 No, they're, they make me laugh so hard. Because a lot of the time, like, they're funnier than us. Like, you watch the comments. Like, they will sh Oof, make fun of us beyond. and be in on so many inside jokes. Like, they create inside jokes. And I will say the number one thing about them is genuinely, I feel like it is a community of girls that really are so nice because there's so many girls that will come to our shows mm. by themselves. Mm -hmm. And then we'll get messages like, I met, like, three girls and I'm going out for drinks with them next week. I'm new in this city. And, yeah. like, so there have been so many great stories of, like, them finding each other and becoming friends and, like, moving certain places and meeting people. So it's just, like, really nice. Well, I think having a similar sense of humor yeah. is, like, a really great bonding thing, especially with the girlies. Like, when yeah. Yeah. To find someone else who laughs at the same stuff or has the same insecurities. Right. It's very powerful. Yeah, for sure. What about um, when Paige's mom criticizes her clothing attire choices? 
It's a good laugh every day. <laughs> every day. She actually said to me, I was on the phone with her on my way here, and she was like, what are you wearing? Did you post it? I'll just look at it there, and then I'll let you know. <laughs> I love that she's like, you're going to do it regardless, but I'm still going to let you know if it's good or bad. Yeah, I'm like, I can't go home and change now. I'm in the Uber. <laughs> but like Paige and I, and you, Sheena, are so close with our moms. Yeah. Like our moms make us who we are. So like we make fun of the relationship, yeah. but like— all I do is think about my mom. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. No, my I literally, right it's so, that's so funny you say that because I said to Craig what the other day, mom do? I was like, wow, what's it like not making every decision, whether, <laughs> like wondering whether or not you're disappointing your parents? And he's like, I've never done that. And I'm like, cool. I don't know how to not do that. Yeah. You know? But We're my working mom on asked it about therapy. my itinerary for this trip and I was like, oh, I assumed like Mark sent it to you. Yeah. And I was like, did you get it? And she was like, no, I didn't get one. She's like, you don't tell me anything anymore. You just say it's on the calendar. <laughs> because it is on the calendar. You're shared on Wait, the calendar. What a great flex, Sheena. you know? I don't know. It's on the Check calendar. The calendar. I'm like, why are you always asking where I'm going to be tomorrow? What's the schedule tomorrow? I'm like, bitch, Wait, it's on the calendar. I love, I that love you, but it's on the calendar. She's on emails, though. <laughs> yeah. Like a must. Yes. Yeah. Totally. Let's be honest. Our moms could fully manage our careers, and they basically are. Just no, from your the mom back. is fully managing our career. For sure. Yeah. Also, my mom, she manages my relationship. She yeah. Ma- like, my mom has made me break up with so many men. My mom runs our finances. And when she asks <laughs> me <laughs> questions, I'm like, I don't know. She's it's, like, it's your bank account. We go, you should know. We put it on the company. <laughs> and then we go, shit, we are the company. <laughs> <laughs> Write it off. Right, Sheena? Isn't that crazy yeah. when you're like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Entrepreneurial life. Yeah, totally. Everything's right off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of my own money. Right. <laughs> okay, two more. Catching your castmates lying about a planned versus a planned in versus like a candid media setup. Oh. <laughs> a giggle. You gotta every giggle. Time. You gotta giggle. Every time. And everyone thinks you're crazy, but it's just like mm. we were here for a Smirnoff event that I was doing. Ariana was on Watch What Happens Live. Yeah. And we were at dinner with like Lindsay, Carl, and some other people after yeah. the event. And right when we left the event, all of a sudden there's paparazzi everywhere. And uh, I'm like, at least warn me so I can put a gloss on. <laughs> like, <laughs> nobody here is a girl's this person girl? under the bus, but they text me after and they're like, Did Lindsay tell you she was doing that? And I was like, Doing what? And they're like, Calling the paparazzi on you guys. And I was like, Oh no, I just assumed that we posted at dinner and they You're were like, just there. I am Gwen Stefani. <laughs> Obviously, they're outside. <laughs> In one they're like, She always does that. And I was like, Oh, I mean, I do that sometimes, too. If I'm going to Craig's and I know my outfit's cute, like, I might give him a heads up. See, I feel so behind. Like, why don't I have paparazzi's numbers? No, same. Like, I didn't (laughs) know that we should even do, like, there's gatekeeping going on. now I'm thinking, like, yeah, there are days where I'm like, this was a great outfit and I didn't get a pic. (laughs) I need Mike on speed dial to catch me at the bodega. Yeah. Bobby in LA. Yeah. That's the thing, because you're all in the same game, but people play it differently. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Mm-hmm. And I used to do it with like boyfriends, but then when I started getting called out, I was like, I'm not going to do it anymore. Then it naturally just started happening. Yeah. Even right. more in the past year that I'm like, no, I swear I really didn't call yeah. them. Wait, can we also just say Ariana on Dancing with the Stars crushing? I know. Is she a dan- Was she a dancer? <laughs> like she so she Juilliard? used to go-go dance in New York when she lived out <gasps> here, but she's always done dance since she oh, was Oh, because I was so, like, wait, they're, like, she's, she's incredible. really good. Yeah. I only watched her because I don't even know who else is on, yeah. but I really only yeah, it's on yeah. tonight. So, so exciting. Tuesday. Everyone vote. I need to tune in. I'm like tired watching. I get so nervous no, for them. Wait. I'm like one, seven, I, eight, nine, ten. I get so tired. <laughs> when they're showing their like practices, I'm like, wait, how many days and how many I mean, hours? She's going to be so fit. Yeah. yeah. She could Ooh, yeah. beat up oh, a man sure. if she needed to. And she's going to gonna make it yeah. to the finale. Because for she sure. is so good. Yeah, she yeah. is. There's competition, obviously, but I'm right. like, she doesn't have Charlie D'Amelio, you right, know? Right, right, right. Yeah. So I'm like, girl, I'm already planning for every Tuesday through like Wait, December. That's so cute. This is what's on my schedule, Wait, except yeah. for today, because I'm here with you. Okay. So I'll just be voting and watching. Okay, live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. If your friend sends you a meme that you've already seen. Oh, I giggle so hard. We Do we ever do that? Uh, I was just trying to think. I, like... I will set time aside to go through all of Hannah's, like, TikToks that she sent me. I send so Because many. I'll go through them, like, 30 at a time mm-hmm. because I want my algorithm to get as <laughs> close to her algorithm so that we're, like, know the same references and are laughing at the same yeah. thing. I take a lot of pride in, like, the memes I send people because yeah. I like it being very nation-specific. Like, I'm not just sending you something funny. I'm sending you something funny because yeah. of something that was said 10 years ago that I remembered. Yeah, like, that kind so, of that, shit. Yeah, like, totally Like, pinpoints. Sierra and I? 
I only send cat memes. Like if mm-hmm. she sent me another meme, I'd be like, are we in a fight? I will say you've been sending <laughs> a lot of reels recently. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That's okay. I was just like, whoa, what's going on? You getting a little older or? <laughs> okay, I don't want to be attacked right now. <laughs> yes, I'm 32, okay? <laughs> yes, I have some grades from reality TV. Yes, what else do you want me to say? <laughs> well, I want to get into some of you getting older at relationships. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love she goes back to this geriatric quick Aging. little break. I mean, at 35, you are geriatric when you have so a kid. So if you guys are like me <laughs> so and crazy. you are too busy this fall to cook, but you want to make sure you're eating well, your family's eating well, but maybe you just don't have time to go to the grocery store to figure out what does the husband or wife want for dinner? What do my kids want? You know, the chopping, the cooking, the prep, the cleanup, the mess, the waste, all of that goes out the door when you get Factor delivered to yours. In just two minutes, you have amazing, delicious, flavor-packed meals ready to go. Factor is America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. They have so many options for every different lifestyle type. They've got keto, protein plus, vegan, veggie. I mean, I am a meat eater, but some of the vegan and veggie dishes have been some of my favorites from Factor. You can level up with gourmet plus options, prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time. Like I said, two minutes in the microwave and boom, treat yourself to upscale meals with premium ingredients like broccolini, which me and summer love, leeks, truffle butter, and summer's other favorite, asparagus. So this October, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy flavor-packed meals delivered to your door. And again, like I said, ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash goodisgold50 and use code goodisgold50 to get 50% off. That's code goodisgold50 at factormeals.com slash goodisgold50 to get 50% off. This episode is brought to you by sax.com. Okay, y'all, let me tell you, it is all happening at Saks.com. Shopping on their website has become my go-to for gifts for friends because they literally have something for everyone, even myself. Like when I have time to scroll for whether it's new wardrobe inspo or whatever, just to shop for myself, which doesn't happen all the time being a busy mom. But look, when it does, this is my spot. Their website is super easy to navigate. They have a massive selection of brands and designers like Adidas, Alexander McQueen, Alice and Olivia, Armani Beauty, and that's just naming a few of the ones that start with the letter A. Zax.com has unique ways to shop for exactly what you're looking for, like by occasion, trends, or even by your star sign for my astrological lovers out there. Okay, so for example, I recently shopped by their It's a Date section for a night out that I had with my husband, and I found the perfect outfit to surprise him with. They even have a revenge dressing category, and I know I have a few friends who could browse that section. They also have a 90s revival one that I personally love because it's legit all the stuff I wore when I was younger, and I love to see it coming back in style. So if you're like me and you love upgrading your wardrobe, then head over and start scrolling at Saks.com for new ways to shop for everything, every day. (sighs) It's golf. It's not golf. It's top golf. And if you haven't been to a top golf, what are you doing? Let me tell you, I was so excited to find out that there is now one in El Segundo because that's only like 15 minutes from my house. When I lived in Vegas, I went to the top golf just off the strip all of the time. Even if you are not a golfer, it doesn't matter. It's for everyone. They've got all of the fun stuff, the clubs, the balls, tees, turf, the ball picker upper cart thing that you may want to aim to hit when you're swinging. But they also have a bunch of stuff that's not golf. There's loud music. I've seen live bands there before. Giant targets on the giant fairway, giant TVs and handcrafted food and beverages that are so, so bomb. All of these things under one roof and you've got yourself a good time. So 
consider this your formal invitation to grab the fam, a few friends, your kids, whoever, maybe some coworkers, and come play around. I love Top Golf. You are going to love Top Golf. Like I said, if you don't golf, it doesn't matter because golf can be kind of hard. I know because I live on a golf course and I'm not the best, but when I go to Top Golf, I have the best time. No one is not good at Top Golf. Everyone can play, even if you've never swung a club before. They have half price Tuesdays where a whole day each week is dedicated to more play for less pay. All the gameplay is half price, giving players more of a reason to come play around. But a little disclosure here, we're all about play, but even we have some rules. Half price Tuesday applies to gameplay only, isn't offered at every venue, and can't be doubled up with other offers or discounts. I mean, it is already half price after all. So full details can be found at topgolf.com slash good as gold. Visit topgolf.com slash good as gold to book a bay and come play around. Again, that's topgolf.com slash good as gold to book a bay and come play around. So relationships ladies mm-hmm. page on a scale of no. one to ten <laughs> <laughs> zero what yeah. are the chances of you moving to charleston 10 being most likely sheena give me a time frame like are you saying like ever in, the in next general 3 years in the next 3 years i would honestly still say 50% mm-hmm. because solely I'm not moving. And like, yes, I know on Summer House, it was like, I don't want to leave my mom, which like, I don't want to leave my Where's mom. Where's the lie? But it is solely based on like my career. Mm-hmm. And I just don't feel the need to like move to a different city and be there full time. And then like, you know, drop the kids off at soccer practice and like live on a cul-de-sac. And that's very much what Charleston is. Do they have is. bodegas? They barely have gas stations. Honestly, no, I mean, they have gas stations. But no, there's no bodegas. There's not even like a deli. You can't even get like a Italian sub. Like you go to like Jersey Mike's. No, it's crazy. So I would love to live down there. It, it, I do think it is like a great place to like have a family and live that suburban life, which I definitely want at some point. You're the worst commercial for Charleston. <laughs> no, I literally am. <laughs> no, Their governor is somewhere like being like, oh, <laughs> we didn't want you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many people in Charleston being like, we don't want her. I'm like, no, I I said it first. I don't want you. I don't want you. <laughs> or the second I said they don't want you, you're like, well, now I want to go. And, now I'm, and you want to see more florets? Because they're coming your way. Um, Rosette, sorry. I um, so I think I will eventually... But no, honestly, I'm not planning it anytime soon because I my career definitely mm-hmm. is in New York. And... I, I haven't gotten that baby feeling yet, but I feel like once I get that baby feeling, my life will be in a totally different direction. Yeah. Has Craig brought the two big suitcases to your New York apartment? Craig has a full closet. Oh. Um, There's room for both of you in a New York closet. He has a, he has a small hall closet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he doesn't have a closet in the bedroom. That'd right. be crazy. That he rock. has a box in the hallway. <laughs> um, but I have a ton of clothes down the there door. too. So like... I'm actually going down there tomorrow. Nice. Yeah. A jet setter. <laughs> yeah. How's married life, Hannah? Oh my God, married life has been fun. I feel like, I'm going to admit, I was boy crazy. Like I, I had anxiety. <laughs> I'd love to like distract from my real life to be like, who am I crushing on? Like who am right. I making up in my head and obsessing over today? Mm-hmm. So having like a healthy relationship and a marriage, it's given me like mental health calmness to like focus on like myself and self care and my career. Cause I used to, I was very distracted by like the games of men. So I feel yeah, like I'm in a very go. like calm, pl- I mean, I, f- I get it. Yeah. And so now I'm able to just kind of be more authentically myself. And I'm lucky to have like a partner that's on the ride with me. You're that. one of my like ideal couples. I will say, like, you know how you always have like a bunch of couple friends who are like mm-hmm. getting married. I can genuinely say I have two couples in my life that I'm like, if I could have a marriage like theirs, it like that's what I would want. You're it's definitely so nice one of, you. of them. Because I just think Des is so it has nothing to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, you're actually the problem, but Des <laughs> yeah, is solid. I actually am totally on Des's side in every fight. So you actually are similar to Des. They're both no, Scorpios. No, but I just think mm-hmm. he's so like the ideal person at like you are 
so loud. Like, you have such a personality. Mm -hmm. And, like, he truly lets you just shine. Like, watching the videos of you at the VMAs of him just, like, standing in the background, I was like— and that's what every man should do. It was just stand was there joking. and let her. People were like, oh my God, Des is amazing. I'm like, the bar is so low. This man's just standing <laughs> behind me. He's just standing and everyone's like, yes. Honestly, looking confused. <laughs> Honestly, probably like, where's the bathroom? I've been looking for the bathroom. Hannah's busy. I don't know where to but go. for whatever reason, watching those videos, like I felt so happy like as a friend where I'm just like, oh my God, look at my friend, like found someone who just mm. truly loves her. And it's he like He definitely so great. roots for me. Yes. And I root for him and that's like such a simple thing but like there's so many people that you're like are you are we even on the fucking same team yeah right like now? are you competing with me yeah. where des really is like yeah. your number one fan and he definitely wants the best for me but also we have this unorthodox marriage where i'm on the road a lot mm -hmm. and he's on the road too so we don't have that like roommate lifestyle where it's like we wake up we go to work we come home we eat dinner we go to sleep it's very like I'll be away for a week and then we reconnect and it's it's kept it very like fresh. And then also if it's like a fun place I'm going, like if there's golf or skiing, Thank he you. comes with me and does comedy with me and like surprises That's people so at the nice. shows. So, I mean, you, you, we all travel a lot with work. Yeah. So you have mm -hmm. to be creative in how you can get your partner involved in the travel because then you'll just never see each other. Right. Yeah. Right. But, right. Yeah. Your wedding was so fun. Sheena, it, you 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 coming? Like, I mean, now I know. Like, you're like, get me to New York. But you guys were any excuse? I'm like, I'm there. People still talk about like my cousin Kara was like at the table. Yeah. She was like, <laughs> Oh, you were at Kara's table. Yeah. <laughs> No, I wish I switched tables. <laughs> it, was, it was such a great mix of people, and um, I just I have such positive memories from like making eye contact with you on the dance floor. Yeah, and stuff. <laughs> I, did, I mean, you know those moments where you're just like, Wah! no, it was so fun. <laughs> yeah. Any um, regrets on letting people like Nima bring a plus one? That was wild <laughs> shit. Oh my god, I forgot about that. I cornered Raquel at one point because when I I'm like. I think I'm like everyone's hype girl, even when I don't know them at all. And I was like, you. And she was like, hi. <laughs> at your wedding. At my own wedding. Like, and I was like, gorgeous. you have so, like, this is your time to like be you and like you don't have James anymore and like now you can like have fun and figure out what you want and like you're on the show as your own person like this is yeah. such an exciting time for you type thing because you, you know she she gives that like she took all that advice and threw it in the trash <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna she say she said why don't you shut the fuck up Hannah <laughs> <laughs> She's like, shut up, you drunk ass bride. <laughs> but I, I also, you know, it was a new time for her and figuring thing out, things out. But I, you know, definitely, I had people from the wedding being like, "Is this the girl that was at your wedding?" Uh -huh. So crazy. I like forgot. Nima's that. also so random for that. S so random. Yeah. I was like, he was like, yeah, she's cool. Like I met her a couple days ago. Yeah, he liked it. He was like, I don't know. But it's good. She, like a classic guy. Who, uh, but like, tell us about your date. He's like, I don't know her last name. No. <laughs> like, okay, guys, will be we're going to have sex tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Guys will be friends with other guys for 10 years. And I'll be like, his name's not Coop. What's his first name? And they're like, I don't fucking know. Yeah. But yeah, I was like, what's going on with you guys? And he's like, I don't know. We don't know. But I guess Bravo bonds people. So yeah. I was like, yeah. she she knows everyone. Throw her in. Totally. Um, no, it definitely does. Yeah. At any point, did you think she was hitting on Craig at the wedding? Yeah, I did. I I remember seeing that in the corner. Right? Yeah. Were you standing with me? Um, I was standing with Nima and Brock, but I was watching because you then watch I, them. Because then I said something to Nima. Yeah. I was like, I don't. So then I, I was went like, and said something to Craig because I was like, are you guys okay? She's because like, Craig was, lost right now. <laughs> Nima was like, no, 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 no. Like, don't worry about anything. And I was like, look, I know that it's coming off like I'm being a crazy girl. But I, when I tell you, like, I have this weird feeling. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, I don't know what she said to Craig. Sorry, just starting a whole new scandal. <laughs> that, like, didn't happen. So, but I, so I don't know. And it was for, like, three seconds. But it is funny to think yeah. about that because I'm, like— Now I think about things so differently because then I, I was, like, oh, my god. She actually was kind she of flirting with never. me. She flirted with me. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me either. <laughs> Des was, like, whatever, mm -hmm. Baker. <laughs> Speaking of Craig, has he made you a pillow? So Craig and I have this very like boys relationship. Like we text about tennis. Uh -huh. Like he loves that I know tennis and tennis is like country club. So I think it like fits into the Southern culture. We do have this inside joke that like Craig's the mistress and I'm like 
Paige's <laughs> husband. Yeah, yeah that Because, like, sense. he'll, like, drop her off at the airport, and I'll be like, thanks. Hope you guys had a fun little weekend together. <laughs> now back <laughs> with my back wife. reality. <laughs> and I'm, like, holding her bags, and I'm like, come on, babe. Like, let's go. It is funny. <laughs> I do feel like you are my boyfriend, because, you know, like, when you go to a new city, or you just, like, leave your <laughs> house, and you're walking down the street, and when you're with your, like, husband or whatever, you turn your brain off, because you're mm-hmm. like, I don't need to know where we're going, because he knows where we're going. <laughs> immediately when I get with Hannah like we could walk out today and I'll be like where do I live because I turn my brain off and Hannah like gets us where we're going yeah. I do turn into the man one like I'm like okay Paige needs some coffee right now she's gonna yeah. be really upset we have to get her food she'll have a little bit I'll finish it oh also we got Taco Bell sent to us yes and I went and Paige texted me she's like the Taco Bell's at my hotel room we live a pretty glamorous life yeah <laughs> So I run to her hotel. I'm like, I need the Taco Bell. I take one of them. I go back to my hotel room. I had Taco Bell too. They left it in both our rooms, but I just took your Taco Bell. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. But anyway, that, yeah, we really spend our time boyfriend. together, but you really have to have good like relationship chemistry with a friend or with. Yeah. yeah. We're married. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally. So what Craig is- gets like a little, like, you know. Jealous. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. she would move to Charleston for me. <laughs> Wait. But I don't know how to get like to Charleston. like I would. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's the sick part. Well, you have to trick Paige. If you called me and you're like, I really need you to move down here. I'd be like, I'm there. Also, he has to be like, there's a new Zara opening up. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's hardly it. Like, there's a Zara. There's no H&M. Different way. He mm-hmm. tried the hot tub. He yeah. tried like his pillows. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> it's not, you're not connecting with <laughs> An it. Italian restaurant with you chicken parmesan <laughs> just opened up. <laughs> does your mom approve of the pillows? And does she have any? My, uh, she does actually. She ha- Well, she has the ones that like I collabed on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that you wouldn't have. <laughs> Right, the but others? I do think yeah. some of his pillows are really good, like Hamptonsy vibe. No, he has honestly. I think like his biggest demographic is like a rich Florida mom redoing her beach house. Yeah. yeah. So like he has a lot of. I also like have to hand it to him. A lot of his customers don't watch Bravo and are literally wow. just like that says a lot about shopping it. wives who are like redecorating Aww. or stuff like that. So since we're together, we are really proud of Craig. Yes, and what he's done, and I think he's a feminist icon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What would you say a hypothetical wedding with a hypothetical groom named Craig Mm -hmm. would look like, hypothetically? It's funny because we have two totally different vibes. He wants, like, on the beach, no shoes, like, a chill, (laughs) week-long— Beer everywhere. —partying, all of our friends. And, like, I— I don't want half the people I invite to come. You know, like that. I'm like at a cool 75 mm. like dinner in Italy that's mm-hmm. like very yeah. romantic and like mood lighting and like drapery mm. like on the ceiling. Like I just not a flip flop in sight. Not a flip flop. <laughs> like not even packed in anyone's bag yeah. that like it could potentially be in their hotel room. Like I don't want to flop around. At but I feel all. like weddings are not about men. Like. Des didn't even know what I planned. Right. Like, he was like, oh, my God, I liked that a lot. Like, I surprised him the yeah, day Yeah, I feel like Craig and I would fight a lot um, No, I think about you'll, it. you'll have a separate party in Charleston for him. Like, a, after. Like, yeah. You don't have to show up to it. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> right? You don't even have to go. <laughs> Thank you so much. Craig's wedding party. <laughs> Speaking of weddings, there was— Obviously, one in November in Cancun that I know you weren't going to. Correct. I was. Mm -hmm. I'm still going. You are. (laughs) I am still going to go. Yeah. We didn't take a honeymoon. Oh, perfect. When we got the email saying, you know, like, if y'all still want to go, go. I text Kyle and Amanda. They're like, we're still going. And I was like, this will be our unofficial buddy moon then. And I'm still going to go. I think a lot of people are actually doing that. There was even like floating around like, oh, should we all like book rooms and go down? Um, It is like right after BravoCon. So I was like, I'm probably going to sleep. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, And then we're also doing a Giggly Squad show in New York City like that weekend after. But yeah, I think a lot of people are doing what you're doing. Yeah. And I, know, I was like, are they going to pick up cameras and film everyone down there? Right. Like, I'm like, is Lindsay still going to go? Or is one of them going to go? Like, I don't know. I Imagine yeah. they both went. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, I don't, obviously, I don't have any gossip from mm-hmm. either of them. And like, what I hear is, like, I found out the Were same way. Every, it happened? No, I found out the same way everyone else did, like, scrolling my Instagram. No way. Yeah. So I, it's not, I text you right away. Yeah, I was right like, whoa, was is like, this true? Just wait for the gossip. Um, 
but yeah, so I wasn't there. We were, I mean, we were done filming. So I was like living my life like that week, like that first week off from mm-hmm. filming. You're just like, right. What the fuck did I just do for three months? And like, how is everyone going to hate me in a new way? This yeah. Season? <laughs> so I was not privy to any of it. And then when it happened, I saw it online. I texted Amanda and she gave me like a little download. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Yeah. Lindsay, it took maybe, I don't know, two weeks. She finally had texted me back. So I got just a l- tiny bit. Yeah. But then it's like I'm also friends with Carl and Carl's right. mom. So I text them and had yeah. checked in. And I still know nothing. But from what you understand, this was a complete shock to Lindsay, right? I think it was a shock to her that it was over. Like watching the season coming out, you'll the viewer might not be as shocked as, like, the person, mm-hmm. the people involved in the relationship were. Um, I think it's just two people broke up. And yeah. in my opinion, I wouldn't want to walk down the aisle to someone who in the back of their head is like, I don't really want to be here, you know? Mm-hmm. So, and then the next time you walk down the aisle, like, you don't want to think, like, oh, he didn't really want to be there. Like, so I think it's… She doesn't have to compare it to anything. And in the long run, he did both of them a favor. Mm -hmm. Hannah, would you ever go back into the summer house or return to reality TV? I think if if things were, like, um, organized in a way um, that was fun, Mm -hmm. I'm very open to, like, creating things. I think you'll definitely be— on a television screen at another point in your life. Yeah, I just like creating. And, like, yeah. let's be honest, none of, like, all of us actually were never like, I want to be a reality TV star. It was, right. like, a fun thing that, like, my mid-20s I did. And I was like, holy shit, I love being in front of the camera. I'm really bad at confrontation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I take things really personally sometimes. But I've I learned so much from it. And now, like, as a, you know, 32-year-old woman who's been through a lot of therapy, I see things in a, in a <laughs> different pic- way. Yeah, different Big picture way, way yeah. Yeah. Because when you're 27, you feel like the world is just closing in on you every Yeah. Second. But she's too funny and, like, too much of a performer sure. to, like, not be on TV. Like, yeah. at some point. Agreed. Something will happen. Yeah. Podcasting is fun, too. Yeah. In the you meantime. I'm so good at it. I, like, I'm envision you. you actually in, like, a sitcom— Oh my god, thank you. Paige is my manager slash agent. <laughs> but the, like one that like you wrote. Yeah. You know, like it's like oh, your perspective, yes. but I, you're okay, also I, like the main like character. Tina Fey, but Hannah yes, Brown. Yes. Yes. You guys, I kind of wanted because I know so much about reality TV. I kind of wanted to write like a reality TV scripted show about like yeah. the ins and outs of it. But like it unreal. Like, cheeky, like unreal. But better. But and like, like funny. But like funny, funny and like possibly a murder. Yeah. Um Ooh. I don't know. I just thought, but like, also, like, I'm Wait, tired. I I'm love running that it, around. There's so like much. possibly a murder. I just feel like there's not a lot of people that have written from, they've written from the producer side, but not right. the person that's been produced side. Yeah. yeah. Um, but also, yeah, I think we all like to entertain and we're very open to like seeing what other way we can create things and make yeah. people totally. laugh. Yeah. Well, speaking of creating things, you have a tour. Giggling oh, yeah. Squad, where are you guys <laughs> yes. going to next? You have we created have, this amazing phenomenon. We're doing oh a God, show in you. New York City on November 9th for the New York City Comedy Festival, and then we're going to Chicago December 3rd. You're so on your shit right now. Are you okay? I drank a coffee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do know about the Chicago <laughs> show because my friend Jenny was like, when yes. you see them, can you please ask? Us? Because they only sell them in groups of two, and there's three of them. Really? Like, I can't leave— one of my friends out. Oh, there oh. must be only certain tickets left. Yeah. In the Have her send chart. us an email. We'll, t- we'll take care of it. Okay. Yeah. Well, if it comes across our desk, we'll deal with it. <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> we'll handle it. I was like, I'm not asking, but then you said Chicago and I was like, <sighs> yeah, no, definitely. Right. Okay. BravoCon, who are you excited to see? Is there anyone you like are excited to meet? Mm, no, honestly, I feel like all the like housewives that like I wanted to meet the first two years, I met them. Mm hmm. Mm. Did I need to? Probably not. <laughs> Don't meet your heroes. <laughs> um, but I do get excited to see, like, everyone's looks. And I think because it's in Vegas, that will be, like, a totally different, like, fashion element It is, like, it. Bravo Fashion yeah. Week. Yeah. And so I am excited to see, like, in general, what the Beverly Hills Housewives do. Because I think mm-hmm. they are all, like, dressed pretty iconic. Very excited to see what all the New York City Housewives do. Because this yeah. is, like, their first Can you tell when outing. the stuff is fake? 
Can I tell when stuff is fake? Like designer stuff? Um, I can't. No, I'm not really that good. I've never seen like full outfits though. I don't know. I don't know if you DHK can really get is powerful. Full. Oh, that's oh, true. Yeah. I love I don't DHK. know if they sell like full outfits. Definitely Birkins are, f- are fake mm. around. Oh, there's definitely some fake Birkins. Yeah. Because yeah. there's this thing in New York City where apparently a lot of rich women will buy like a $10,000 fake really expensive Birkin. Just go get the real one. Well, they like are saving 30 grand or something. Mm. And it's like a really good fake. I don't know. It's like a thing. I think that I started it. a little crazy yeah no i know spend that much i mean s- uh, spending 40 grand is bonkers it's a car. right right <laughs> that's right a small house in the bookshelves <laughs> no literally <laughs> that's, <Dorinda> house. <laughs> that's a literal bungalow in cape cod yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the whole island of nantucket <laughs> <laughs> she's like what are these east coast cities they keep naming <laughs> she's like i'm from la <laughs> yeah i'm so la All right, I want to wrap this up with some hot topics. Mm. Taylor and Travis. We're here for it. We're We're here for it. Yeah. Like, we love that Hannah keeps saying, like, (laughs) maybe she just wanted to live her life on a Sunday and go to a football game. So I'm in that. Like, she's living her life. Mm -hmm. Someone was joking, like, she's been having um, relationships with these, like, really emotional artsy dudes. Yeah. And now she's just going to get, like, pummeled by this, like, six, seven. Because until you're (laughs) in it, you don't realize that someone can be so dumb. (laughs) <laughs> and so, like that, like dating Look, an athlete truly is. CT like- is real, and we're raising awareness about it because I I talk about all the time how I dated a football player in college who played tight end. Yeah, and Travis Kelsey played twelve more years than that guy I dated, and that guy could not spell the word isn't. He spelled it I S I N T. So like you're dealing with a different kind, mm-hmm. but like so sturdy. Yeah, <laughs> could pick your ass <laughs> so up sturdy. with one hand. So this guy would get make a protein shake in the morning and walk out with the whole blender. Like he was a monster <laughs> and it was so hot. Like, I mean, you love a big man. I love yeah. a big man. You're yeah. with a big man right yeah. now. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. On the Taylor topic, I don't know if either of you follow closely. I get all of this info from my sister, but do you know about like the Sabrina Carpenter, Olivia Rodrigo drama? No. Yeah, I a little bit. I know that, wait, from like years ago? Yeah, but now on Olivia's ago, new album, supposedly her song Lacey is about Sabrina. Okay. And how Sabrina has like everything she wanted because she wanted to like open up for Taylor Swift. And now Sabrina's right. doing that on certain legs of the tour and all of that. So I don't know. Well, it's interesting that Sabrina's now part of the girl squad right. with Taylor. And is it like a way of Taylor? Wait, am I confusing Sabrina with? The Teenage Witch? <laughs> <laughs> no, but good one. Um... <laughs> Who did Olivia write the song about, like, original? Sabrina. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's the same it's girl. It's so Oh, okay. Did Olivia ever op- – Olivia opened for Taylor at one point, though, too, didn't she? I think so. But then there was something about Olivia, like, crediting Taylor for some of her sound and, like, saying that she was – Oh, yeah, Taylor sued. Stuff oh, right. and she then, sued right. Olivia Rodrigo. It got oh. So Olivia uh, – because the song was similar, so Olivia said, you get 50% of the song for writing credit. So she gives 50% of one of her main songs to Taylor. And then people were like, it's fucked up. Taylor's so rich. But Taylor was just like, this is – But my, I made that. Yeah, like, this is just the business. Yeah. Where is like the, the money, money that she <laughs> got herself <laughs> <in> the- <laughs> And other Taylors, I did want to ask, just because I was thinking of Taylor, um, what was your reaction hearing Southern Charm Taylor yelling what she did at Madison's wedding party about Craig? Me cheating on Craig? Yeah. I'm mean to all men, including my boyfriend. So, like, he knows. I thought it was, like, kind of (laughs) funny that she would throw that out because also the way she said it, her, like, voice was, like, trailing off. Like, even she didn't believe it. But, like, when I first heard it, because I had heard it prior to, obviously, that day filming. She had, like, said this about me, like, a couple months prior. And I, like, heard – and people, like, came back and told me. And honestly, my first instinct was, like, oh, my God, but, like, who? You know? I'm like, is he hot? Is he rich? I'm so excited for me. Um, But I didn't, like, really care. Yeah. I'm not, like, close enough with her to be, like, that's so mean of you. Mm -hmm. I, like, didn't care at all. Yeah. Well – Gotcha. Have you seen the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills trailer? I heard it came out today. I have. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's good. Ooh. It's so good. What are your thoughts on the Kyle Mauricio, all of that? 
Let a girl be a lesbian. I think Jeff Lewis said it best. She's a lesbian on Ozempic. Like, it, there's <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I mean, he fully got canceled for it, too. No, I mean, not canceled, but she got pissed about it. But, like, it's what I wanted from this season. Mm-hmm. I've always loved Kyle. I've always thought she's great on the show. But, like, you can have just so many seasons where, like, nothing's really happening to you that's, like, kind of crazy. Yeah, everyone and gets this their is, time. And here is her moment. It's, like, happening. And, and also, Morgan's on next season. Is that a thing? She's in, yeah, yeah she's in the, I which is to watch kind this. of I just crazy. heard it came out when I was like on the train getting here. I was like, wait, what? I need to see this. And oh. I mean, look, I, I feel for Kyle. I didn't realize there were as many rumors about Mauricio as there were like throughout the year. Of him cheating? Yeah. So like, I kind of feel Did Taylor bad them? for her. <laughs> I wonder how he's going to do on Dancing with the Stars. So we were all yeah. there last week at the premiere. My table was right next to Kyle and her daughters, like Farah, and the girls were there. Yeah. And Mauricio was in the bottom too. And he did pretty good dancing. Yeah. But I felt like his package came off kind of arrogant. And it is based on not just the judges' votes, but the people, the, audience, you know, yeah. the people. And even though Kyle was there in the audience supporting him, right? When he said what he said in his package, it was something like, and I'm going to ask him about this. We're getting him on shenanigans soon. But he said, you are like, the Barbara Walters no, Kyle of and I really have are. had, you know, some issues recently, and so like I'm looking forward to like basically just. Not dealing with that and having fun on Dancing with the Stars. But the way he said it, I just looked at her immediately after. And I was like, there's no way she saw this package ahead of time. And now it's like live TV. And I, my heart sank. Yeah. And when I saw him in the bottom two, I was like, mm-hmm. I think it was that package. Yeah. But I had talked to him that night. And I was like, his team had reached out to get him on shenanigans. The month Scandal broke. And there was just way too much going yeah. on. I was mm-hmm. like, we're going to put a pause on that. I was like, when Housewives comes back He's on, busy. I would love to have him on. I love He's that on pause. It's just like a thing we all say. <laughs> oh my God. Can I put my life on pause? Yeah, let's yeah. just pause that. So when I saw him last week, I was like, okay, let's do the podcast and he's like yeah I'm down but I'm like the wow, first thing I'm asking him is do you think you got in the bottom because of, of, the of package. your package and did he get to look at well obviously he didn't but also I'd have to say with Mauricio it. like psychics sometimes are right <laughs> how kind of crazy how crazy when they play that scene no. I get like goosebumps and she look, was cocky with it too she I, was like don't get mad at me it's yeah, the like spirits it. <laughs> get mad at the spirits I mean we all love a good psychic as we no, know no I love a psychic <laughs> Paige and I literally we love it oh sorry <laughs> we love a psychic <laughs> well thank you ladies so much for being here Thanks it's always fun to God. giggle with you I love when we get to get together and sometimes you know we just have to do a podcast to hang out yeah. no Sheena we're honored and you You've paved the way for us in so many ways Aww. in entertainment. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, you were my first podcast I ever went on. Oh no, oh, yeah. I do remember you saying I was that. so nervous. Aww. And Vanderpump's always been my favorite show. Yeah. I love you girls. Well, thanks for having us. Thanks for being here. And if you guys are in, you know, Chicago, New York, get tickets to go see Giggly Squad Live because your show is so much fun. I thank love you. it. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. 